The U.S. Coast Guard landing on Belle Isle, just part of a bigger mission keeping the city safe. Tonight, we take you behind the scenes of this training session. You know, rescues don't happen often, but preparation is key to making sure mistakes are not made and lives are saved. That preparation really is vital. So our local 14, we got a rare chance, a rare opportunity to go behind the scenes with this group and learn more about what it takes to make these rescues a success. A pairing of the U.S. Coast Guard and the Detroit Police Dive Team. So really appreciate you guys coming out today. There is kind of two types of training we do. We do our boat hoisting training, then we do rescue swimmer ops. Boating and swimming season is right around the corner, and these agencies need to be prepared. When you do this hoist with this basket, is it hard? It is quite challenging. Picture the that arcade game uh -huh. with the little claw and the prizes. Yeah. Picture doing that, but from a moving helicopter 100 feet above the water where we're moving, the boat is moving, it gets, it's like a dance, okay. so it's tricky. Today's session is to help each department work better together. And when we're right on top of your boat at 40 feet, our pilot has maybe just the tip of your bow to see. And improve communication and understanding during a rescue. Two hands for waving off like on, a, on an approach. One hand is unsafe condition. These two are for the swimmer to apply to somebody in the water. This okay. one is called the sling, and it gets wrapped around and under the arms of your survivor in the water, like so. Okay. And then they would get picked up with the swimmer at the same time. For those on the dive team, it's a chance to be better prepared to help the Coast Guard make a rescue and keep everyone safe while they do that. It's going to aid us in an emergency. We can all snap right into action, you know, to save lives. I have to say, when you see it happen, you think it's easy. It's quick and easy. It is not. There's so many details. You've got to give them a shout out for the hard work they do. By the way, you're going to see the dive team out next week as they will be diving that seawall along Hart Plaza every single day of the NFL draft, and that's for security purposes.